This is where that mope hides out, and that Chinese lady. I just need to remember the secret knock. Secret knock? What is this, some kind of clubhouse? Let's go. Wait, are you sure we're not walking into a parlous situation here? Parlous? Why the hell do you talk like that? Come on. Detective Bennett, Mr. Abbott. According to Reno here, you're 17 seconds late. Sorry for the shabby digs, but we need to keep a low profile for now. We've got a friend in common, Tolstoy Eddings. And I think we both want to figure out where he is, but I'm sure you've got questions, yeah? So that's Abe Goldfarb. Who are you, and how do you know who we are? I like you, detective. No beating around the bush, just business. Answer my question, or I'll beat you around this room. I think you're in enough trouble already. No need for more violence, right? My name is Amul Batra, and this is my colleague, Reno. We're collectors. Collectors of what? Information. It's our business to know everything. Everything? Everything. So you sent for us. We came. Why? You're here because the universe is a self-correcting machine. And until recently, Ed was a reliable, predictable cog. But now he's gone off the rails. We need replacement parts. Enough with the metaphors. Get to the point. We both want the same thing. Tolstoy Eddings needs to be brought to heel. We'll point you in the right direction. So you were working with Ed? With him? <laughs> no. We had an interest in resonance. He had an interest in resonance. So we took an interest in him. That's all. Did your interests include killing an innocent woman in cold blood? We did not kill anyone. But the entire Aventine police force seems to think that you did. Maybe something can be done about that. What is Ed after? To upset the machine. We believe he plans on setting off another resonance device very soon. I don't understand. He seemed to think resonance should be for the benefit of mankind. Why would he use it to blow things up? He did just kill Anna. He's not the most rational guy around. Unfortunately, even Reno here didn't foresee Ed's betrayal until it was too late. And she sees everything. So what, she's supposed to be some sort of psychic or something? There's no magic to it. The universe is controlled by laws. Everything from the planets orbiting around the sun to the firing of neurons and that little brain of yours. Call it a machine, call it fate. From initial state to end of days, everything's already been decided. And with enough information, anything can be predicted. And that is why we collect information. All of it. Wait, did you say your name is Amul Batra? You're a Batra, the guy who's been emailing me. You are the Eleven Foundation. You know this mope? This guy has been feeding me scoops, like that one on the Vice President. Wanted me to write some articles buttering up his cause in exchange. Cause? Increasing government surveillance powers in the name of anti-terrorism. Seriously? I knew you sounded shady, so I did some checking up on you, a mool. You and your Eleven Foundation are behind that DNA database and a Vorta. No point in denying it. And you took full advantage of it. That may be, but there's no way that thing is legal. It's only illegal until it isn't. What's that supposed to mean? Yamero. Antivorta isn't a pressing matter at the moment. I 
I should place both of you under arrest. On what grounds? I got a surveillance photo of you robbing Torta security. You were caught red-handed. I, uh... Bollocks. I thought that camera was off. Tortoise knows his stuff, all right. I'll give him that. Huh. I know, I know. Still, good luck getting Mr. Tortoise to press charges. He'll never admit his place was robbed. He's right, you know. Shut up. So what did you want with Tortoise's files on the vault? As I mentioned, we are collectors of information. And resonance is what? A trophy for your wall? No, it's much more than that. We want to see it put to good use. But our motive shouldn't matter to you. Ed's going to set off another resonance device very soon. You need to focus on stopping it. Why did she slip me that vault file yesterday? You needed a nudge. We gave it to you. Cut to the chase. How do we stop Ed? Start from the beginning, the initial state, and extrapolate out. Exactly where did this all begin? The explosion at the lab. It should be easy to determine where the resonance devices that killed Morales were placed. But they could be anywhere outside the lab. You can find the distance between two resonance devices by the size of the blast made when the particles snapped back together. I acquired the formula and used the measurements from that hole in Morales' lab. Particles must have been placed four kilometers from the lab on either side. That's it? If you need more than that, you aren't the right man for the job. Reassuring. <laughs> for the character of Reno, I want- Let's wrap it up, lads. Don't bother coming back here, we'll be long gone. After you've stopped, Ed, you'll see us again. Oh, and before you go, I have a little present for you. What was that he handed you on the way out? A compass. So we can find north? No, a drafting compass. Like you get in high school geometry. What do you think about those guys? I don't trust them. Everyone seems to only be interested in resonance. But they do want to stop Ed, and that's at the top of my list of things to do today. Let's just figure out where those resonance devices were placed so we can follow his trail. So if you talk to Reno and I...